Julian Pettifer reports on the mood of the army in Ulster. In contrast, on two, the high chaparral, the clash of character between Buck Cannon and Billy Blue, finally comes to a head. That's the choice at 8 o'clock. Now, ask the family. This programme is in black and white. The Beresfords at 130 fought stoutly, but they lost, and there's no glossing over that fact. My sympathies to them. And this programme will be back at the same time next week. Until when, goodbye. <laughs>
The stars, the principals of the group practice. John Barry plays the senior partner, Dr. John Summers, and his colleagues are Richard Leach as Dr. Heyman and Dr. Liz McNeil, Justine Lord. Paul Massey. My name is Tom Durham, lecturer in sociology at the London School of Economics and in love with Dr. Elizabeth McNeil. Irene Hamilton. I'm Louise Heyman, Dr. Roger Heyman's wife. Maureen O'Reilly plays... Leslie Baines, health visitor with the Scott Road Group Practice. Pamela Duncan. I'm Kathleen Groom, secretary of the group practice. I've been with Dr. Summers for 15 years now. Linda Marshall plays... Molly, Molly Dolan. And the Scott Road Group Practice, I'm receptionist, coffee maker, and general factotum. Alexandra Day. I'm Nella Summers. Dr. John Summers is my father. Though I sometimes wonder if he remembers he's got a daughter at all. And from a local hospital, Barry Justice is... Bill Conrad. I'm paediatric registrar at Prince's. This new twice-weekly colour serial begins on Wednesday at 6.45 on BBC One. On BBC Two now, another Western story of the High Chaparral. On BBC One, for the first time in colour, Panorama. In the first Panorama to go out in colour. And that's all from Panorama this week. Good night. On BBC Two Now, Television Doctor, tonight's programme takes up issues raised in viewers' letters. On BBC One, the news, followed by the first of a new series, Take Three Girls. This is BBC One, the time is just after ten to nine. He was 81. And that's all tonight from the newsroom. So from me, good night. Apollo 12 touches down on the moon early on Wednesday morning. BBC One will have continuous colour coverage of man's second moon landing. The first signals from Apollo 12 as the lunar module is on its descent orbit will start at three minutes past seven when the command module emerges from the rear side of the moon. In the BBC space studio, Cliff Mitchellmore, James Burke and Patrick Moore will be joined by astronaut scientist Curtis Michael. Men on the Moon starts at seven o'clock on Wednesday morning on BBC One in colour. And now the weather. Tonight there will be widespread frost in eastern and central districts. Tomorrow will be a little milder and afternoon temperatures will range from 8 to 10 degrees centigrade, the upper 40s Fahrenheit in western areas, to 6 degrees centigrade, 43 degrees Fahrenheit in eastern England and eastern Scotland. Now the start of two new series in colour on BBC television. On two, comedy with Tim Brooke Taylor and Graham Garden in Broaden Your Mind. On one, drama, the first of 12 plays about Avril, Victoria and Kate. Take three girls. This is BBC One. Avril is featured in next week's play in this series at the same time, Monday at 10 past nine.
next program in just over a minute. Two new colour series start tomorrow on BBC One. At 7.30, Harry Worth on holiday in Germany finds himself involved in a border incident. Now, when we got back onto the road again, Miss MacPherson had the idea that it might be fun to cross into East Germany and take some photographs. Why not, I said. And perhaps by spreading a little goodwill, we can scrape some rust off the Iron Curtain. And that's when we found ourselves approaching what appeared to be a level crossing without railway lines. Harry Worth is followed at 8 o'clock by Scylla. Oh, Black at 8 and Harry Worth at 7.30. Two new colour series starting on BBC One tomorrow. Now, Monday evening continues in colour with a song from everyone from Kenneth McKellar. This is BBC One. Well, thank you very much. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. I'd like to thank uh, Peter Knight the orchestra for joining me and of course Moira Anderson. <laughs> and all of you for being with us. Till we meet again, cheerio. <laughs> Kenneth McKenna will be back in two weeks time on Monday the 1st of December. And now football, the results of tonight's FA Cup first round replays. Barrow, nil. Alfreton, nil. Orient, nil. Walsall, two. On BBC One now in colour, 24 hours, presented this week by Kenneth Alsop. On BBC Two, Mel Oxley introduces Line Up Monday. This is BBC One. Temperatures will be a little below normal for early January, hardly reaching 6 degrees centigrade, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will remain southerly, light or moderate, becoming fresh at times on the south coast. On BBC Two later tonight, the Vintagers of Hollywood presents The Awful Truth, a comedy of manners which won its director, Leo McCary, an Academy Award in 1937. The film stars Cary Grant as a man who suspects his wife of infidelity, and Irene Dunn as the wife who dreams up a string of complex schemes to win him back. The Awful Truth on BBC Two, tonight at nine. BBC One. Now, the first programme in a new series.
Good evening. My name is Barry Fantoni. This is a whole scene going, and welcome to it. And welcome to, to Wendy Varnell. Because this is the first program in a new series, in a new year, we start by looking ahead at how you'll look, what you'll be playing at, and what you'll be listening to. This, according to some of the top fashion forecasters, is what you'll look like in 1966, providing, of course, you're female. It's a composite photograph put together from the predictions of a top model, a top fashion journalist, and two fashion students. A note, the knees are well and truly covered. The face to go with this outfit belongs to model Caroline Munro. It's just been voted the face of 1966 out of 700 girls who competed for the title sponsored by the Evening News. We think it's a great face, but really a continuation of 1965. There's a definite touch of the Shrimptons about it. Virtually no makeup except round the eyes, emphasis here on the lower lashes. Hair is its own brownie colour and worn in the style of around the 1900s. Caroline is 16, and if you look like her, said the experts, you have the face of 1966. And now, more news of the weather. There will be a moderate or severe frost tonight in most districts, except the southwest of England. Snow will spread from the southwest during the night to affect most parts of southern England and also the Midlands. Snow showers will affect east coast districts of northern England. There will be considerable drifting of the snow in strong to gale easterly winds. It will remain very cold everywhere. That's the weather, but now let's forget about it and join Late Night Lineup. <laughs> Tonight in lineup, Spencer Davis, an arts graduate and leader of the pop group that's topping the charts this week. Paul Jones, singer from the Manfred Mann Group, who was sent down from Oxford University. And Neil Farrow, a journalist and a psychology student. They're here to discuss the newest of the television pop shows. Later, there'll be an interview by Joan Bakewell with Joseph Losey. A whole scene going is a weekly show 30, 30 minutes long that aims to reflect the taste and times of Britain's under-21s. In tonight's edition, pop singers sang, Hayley Mills was interviewed, and a brain's trust of young celebrities gave advice to a teenager with a problem. There was also a filmed profile of Ray Davis of the Kinks. As I have been. Mm. That and other things. Joseph Leslie, thank you very much. Thank you. And that's all tonight from Late Night Lineup. Good night. <laughs> Film sequences in late night lineup from The Servant and King and Country were shown by courtesy of Warner Pathé. Now, with the time at two and a half minutes past midnight, that's all from BBC Television. Good night to you. <laughs> I think we must take this off. Here we are, Tony. Can we have it off? Uh, yes, of course. Cool. Oh, why not? Yes. 